what you see on the screen is the famous bathtub curve for reliability which is frequently referred to while dealing with reliability the first period is early failure period during which high failure rate is encountered due to manufacturing defects this period typically lasts to a couple of months we will see presently that this issue can be tackled by burning in process the second period is the normal operating period or the useful life span which may extend to 5 to or 10 years here the failures are due to random faults of the components and the failure rate is considered to be constant which is evident from the flat nature of the curve the third period is the wear out period during this period the failure rate of the component increases rapidly due to wear and tear characteristics of the bath tub curve causes and possible mitigations for its different periods are shown in the table the first period is the early failure period its characteristics are very high failure rate but decreasing with time the possible causes are mainly manufacturing defects which may be caused by poor quality parts welding flaws poor workmanship poor quality control the possible mitigations are burn in test which is generally employed in case of electronic components other mitigation factors are acceptance test of the components and improved quality control second period is normal operating period this is characterized by constant failure rate and the possible causes are random failures which may be caused by environmental conditions human failure etc the mitigation consists of provision of standby system or over design of the system the third period is wear out period this is characterized by rapidly increasing failure rate possible causes are natural fatigue and aging or it may also be accelerated by cyclical loading the mitigation factors are preventive maintenance or replacement of components by modern technology components burning in is conducted basically to beat out the components with inherent weakness due to variation in manufacturing process it accelerates the failure process leading to failure of the component in the early failure period of the bathtub curve in the case of software the reliability curve takes a different shape as shown in the figure this is because of difference in nature of failures of hardware and software in case of hardware the random failures which are caused mainly due to environmental stress dominate over systematic failures software does not suffer with random failures failures do not develop over time there will be design or coding errors in the software which will be always present since the design stage it will surface out when favorable conditions and data are present normally failure rate reduces with time due to error fixing during the operation spikes are caused due to errors introduced during feature upgradation kindly note these spikes are not because of any reliability issue or error fixing after reaching obsolescence the failure rate remains constant unlike hardware as there is no wear out in the case of software 